Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. You want the latest news in the streets? Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey tea sippers, I hope you guys are doing good today. So I want to come on here and talk about some of this Ice Spice drama that's going on. And I want to hit on all this stuff that went down with her this weekend with um, streamer Ty Leo. So what happened is basically the Twitch streamer Ty Leo James, um, he was broadcasting a live stream from behind the scenes of Ice Spice's Miami concert. And so before she was getting ready to go on stage, he decided to lead them in a prayer. And he wanted to pray for Ice Spice and her boyfriend that she tries to keep secret, right, USA. And as they're praying, it just is really, really weird watching her mannerisms. And a lot of people are only talking about Ice Spice, but you also have to watch how Wright is behaving as well. His head is shaking. He's nodding his head back and forth. She's having all these uncontrollable movements with her face as well. She's smiling weird. You can literally see the demons possessing her. Like this video is really creepy to watch. And then near the end, she ends up throwing up the demonic hand signals. So I want you guys to go ahead and check this out. I'm praying because I'm trying to show up for Ice Spice like I'm Christian. No, I'm just trying. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. I'm going to just say this prayer so the Lord can protect us as we go through the rest of the night and the rest of our careers. Right. You know what I'm saying? So everybody hold hands. Hold hands, hold hands. Lord, thank you so much for bringing this amazing group together right now with this amazing stream and our amazing teams, Lord. We are all from the same place and we are all trying to get to the same place, which is the top end. We are, we all want to experience different things in our lives, Chad, so thank you so much for bringing all of us together, and I pray that you allow us to grow on other people, on each other, and I pray that you allow us to reach any measures in this life, and just watch over us daily, you bless us, you allow us to bless other people with our work and our amazing craft, and you help us enjoy this night, in Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 Listen, I, we need a bottle of rosé, listen, shout out to all my Don Julio, what the fuck? I just bought this shit. Whose tea is that? You were sitting right there too. Jeez. You knocked it over. How I knocked it over? Oh. oh. All right, so you guys just saw that video, and it's very disturbing to watch. So a lot of people are talking about this on TikTok. So I'm going to go ahead and play you guys some of these people's responses on TikTok and how they feel about it. Then I'm going to come back with my commentary. This video of Ice Spice is going viral and it's a video of her during prayer. But just pay very close attention to what she does with her hands when they're done praying. Hands, hold hands. Lord, thank you so much for bringing this amazing group together right now with this amazing stream and our amazing teams, Lord. We are all from the same place and we are all trying to get to the same place, which is the top end. We, are, we all want to experience different things in our lives, Chad, so thank you so much for bringing all of us together. And I pray that you allow us to grow on other people, on each other. And I pray that you allow us to reach any measures in this life and just watch over us daily. You bless us. You allow us to bless other people with our work and our amazing craft. And you help us enjoy this night. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I Spice let everybody know who she stand with by the end of that prayer. And I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Y'all make it seem like these people are so innocent. Talking about she was clapping. Bitch, I thought we clapped like this. I thought that's how we clap. We don't clap like this. Like, what is you talking about? Y'all ass be slow and it be pissing me off. Y'all will purposely just ignore something so you could just continue to be a dumb ass person. I don't get it. Then y'all just continue to listen to her. Like, everything is perverted. Everything is about lust. Everything is about going and driving yourself away from God. Good and evil. You worship the devil or you worship God. That's the end of it, bro. You have to choose. You have to choose. Majority of these female artists are trying to get us females to be so lustful and be so trapped into men and lust and having all of this stuff go on to the point where we can't even see what's in front of our faces. And one of the people is Ice Spice. Like, have y'all ever seen her in a concert? And I get it, but point. Have you ever seen her go to a concert where she did have, where she has some clothes on? Where she won't turn around and shake in her butt? Like, be for real. 
Y'all be so oblivious on person on purpose, just like the Megan Thee Stallion thing. Oh, she didn't create the dance. Stop playing. Have y'all seen the music video? Like, knock it off. Good and evil, like I said. Like, y'all are so oblivious. Y'all want to ignore the fact that there are serpents all over the place. Serpents, snakes, apples. Everybody is mimicking Jesus. Like, everything. Everything is mimicking the Bible. And But you're going to say, oh, what does that have to do with anything? A serpent? Deceitful. Being deceived. Hello? Have you read the Bible? You think these people are basing this stuff off of what? The Bible. Literally. You guys are being slow. Like, the serpent taking all these men and swallowing them deceiving i'm deceiving you you think i am i'm innocent you think that everything about me is beautiful but as soon as i get you in that bed i'm gonna do you and it's not even like i'm gonna do you i'm gonna do you the right way it's i'm gonna do you is i'm gonna seduce you and i'm gonna have you stuck and not even stuck like that i'm gonna have you stuck i'm gonna have your soul i'm gonna like i'm gonna have you like oh you think there's a you think you could be saved by jesus oh no no you can't you people need to open your freaking brains. Open your minds. Open your eyes. Stop acting slow. Stop trying to act like everything is just... It's just a dance. It's just a song. She was clapping. Don't piss me off. Y'all already pissed me off enough. Acting like y'all don't see anything. And that's fine. If you don't want to see it, you don't want to see it. But stop knocking the people that do see it. Like... Hello? Everything is connected to the Bible. Why do you think they mock him so much? You don't see them mocking nobody else. They mock the one that's alive and real and well. Stop it. Playing with my God. Boy, y'all are tripping. People keep saying, oh, maybe Ice Spice isn't religious. Maybe that's why she acted the way she did while Talil was praying. But it's like, if you are not religious, why are you participating in the prayer? Simply just don't participate. I mean, laughing, smiling, putting your tongue out, doing signs, devil signs after he's done praying. I mean, like, are you good? So I don't believe the fact that it's that she's not religious. I honestly think that the devil was coming out of her separately because the way she was shaking herself, she just couldn't even sit still. She looked like she was struggling. And the prayer was what, like a minute, maybe two minutes long. And the minute he finished, she did like the devil sign or whatever right after he was done. Like she couldn't even wait one second. Like it was so crazy to me. But hey, how do y'all think she got so famous and where she is now? I mean, that body can only get you so far. And rapping about farts can only get you so far. So y'all know, like, what it is. So it's not that she's not religious. Y'all know what it is. She participated and mocked it, basically. She could have easily said, oh, I'm not really feeling it. I don't really want to do it. Okay, fine. But to sit during the prayer and to be put putting out your tongue, to be making signs of the death, like, it's not okay. All right, so you guys just saw some of those responses. Now, my thing is this. I've been talking about Ice Spice and her demonic ways now for the past six months. If you guys remember during the whole Super Bowl fiasco, I talked about her and Taylor Swift and how their behavior was odd, how she was wearing an upside down cross, how she was throwing up those same satanic hand gestures. Let me go ahead and play this flashback for you guys really quick. Everything from Taylor Swift being featured constantly. Her and Ice Spice were there together with Riot USA. And it's just really weird to see them hanging out. Granted, they did have the song together called Karma. But Taylor Swift is 34. Ice Spice is 23. And outside of the song, what all do they have in common to be hanging out in the Super Bowl area? Like, where's Selena Gomez? Where's your best friends that you've been hanging out with for years? All of a sudden, it's all about her and Ice Spice. And what creeped a lot of people out was that during the game, Ice Spice started throwing up devil horns and was showing her inverted upside down cross. So that caused a lot of controversy. Um, on top of that, the number 13 kept popping up around Taylor. That was causing controversy. That On top of that, you had Alicia Keys once again. She was wearing all red. And people were saying that the way she was posed on the field, she was posed like Jesus Christ was posed on the cross with her arms out and her legs crossed. It's a very strange pose, um, I guess, Alicia. Now, this pose wouldn't be as crazy or problematic if I didn't see Kanye over in the corner with a gimp mask on with a Jesus Christ um, on the cross logo on his face and Christ is posed the same way as Alicia Keys. So I don't know what in the Illuminati blood sacrifice industry fruit basket is going on here, but something about this Super Bowl was just weird as hell. People were also talking about Taylor Swift taking a picture, the KC Conference Champions hat. 
And as you can see, she's throwing up the 666 sign. All right, so you guys just saw that flashback. That whole Super Bowl was really demonic, if you ask me. Now, what's very interesting with this situation, when I see Ice Spice and Riot's behavior, it makes me think of this Bible passage, Matthew 16, 26, what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world, yet forfeits his soul? And I believe that Ice Spice has sold her soul in so many terms. The fact that this girl cannot even sit there and be respectful in a simple prayer is sad. And I see a lot of people saying, well, maybe it's not her religion. Why would he automatically assume that she's Christian? Even if that's not your religion, because I've had people pray around me that were Muslim, Christian, and every other faith, it's still a respect factor. Even if you don't respect the prayer, you sit there, you bow your head, you know what I'm saying? You don't make all these weird twitches with your face. You don't sit there and nod your head back and forth. They were coming off like, like they were being possessed. It's almost like the prayer was irritating the demons inside of them. You know what I'm saying? And let's not forget, like I always tell you guys, as we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and against powers and against the rulers of darkness in this world and against spiritual wickedness in high places. And again, that is the vibe I was getting from both of these people. Ice Spice is not the Ice Spice of yesteryear. The industry has definitely gotten to her. You're not going to be in spaces with people like Taylor Swift and Lucian Grange and think that you can still be the same young girl from the Bronx. Absolutely not. Let's not forget the people that Ice Spice is tied to. First of all, her so-called boyfriend, Riot USA, I hate his name, because even his name always gave me weird vibes. Because we all know we went through a lot of riots here in the Twin Cities and around the country in 2020. 2020. Then we had the January 6 riots. And you mean to tell me one of the biggest producers right now, his name is Riot USA. And we are right now dealing with tumultuous times, uh, the income inequalities. We have an election coming, which, you know, can lead to some potential riots. And his name is Riot USA. How ironic. Even his tagline, even when I hear Taylor Swift playing around and saying his tagline, it doesn't sit well with my spirit. <laughs> Stop playing with him, Riot. Okay, girl. So on top of Ice Spice dating Riot USA, who let's not forget, his father is one of the biggest DJs in New York, okay? Ice Spice is one of the biggest rappers out. Wondering your relation with the producer Riots. That's my son. That's your son. But how do you find out about Ice Spice? My son and the girl, they both graduated from the same college. All my friends are saying, yo, this is Ice Spice. And I'm laughing because in my head, I already know about Ice Spice. Yeah. <laughs> you know, nobody was, knows that, right? I, Good. Nobody they don't knows need to know shit. it. Riot's father is DJ enough. So everybody should know that by now. I broke this down when I did a video about Ice Spice and Nicki Minaj. So Ice Spice not only has one of the biggest DJs under her belt because she's dating his son. Okay. On top of that, she signed to Lucian Grange, who's one of the biggest music label owners in the country. His son, and his son is Elliot Grange, and she signed to his record label called 10K Projects. So most likely Lucian Grange is also the one doing the distribution of her album um, because he runs Capitol Records. So she is tied to some big name people. For her to just be a random girl from the Bronx, I never bought that story. I believe that she was dating Riot. She's a pretty girl, right? Riot basically turned his girlfriend into a superstar. And they concocted this whole story that she's just a struggling, up and coming, you know, chick from the Bronx. That is why once Drake realized who she was with and her ties, he turned the fuck around and left her hanging because he knew that he couldn't get with her because not only is she tied to Riot, but she's tied to Elliot and Lucian Grange, who also have huge ties to Drake as well. This entire situation with this prayer does not sit well with me. And this just goes to show me that you have to be careful the type of people that y'all follow, especially when it comes to this industry, because a lot of these people are doing a lot of dark things behind the scenes. They have so many demons inside of them that they can't even sit through a prayer. Sit through a prayer that wasn't no more than 60 seconds long and her face was twitching and she was doing these weird smiles. It's like she was having these weird epileptic seizures while the man was praying. And then if you guys notice at the end of the prayer, all of a sudden a drink spilt on his clothes. I to, oh my God, hold it. What the fuck? <gasps> oh, I just bought this shit. Oh. I just bought this shit. Whose tea is that? You were sitting right there too. You knocked it over. How I knocked it over? Oh! 
And I don't find that to be a coincidence. The whole time, we didn't see anything spill. Um, he didn't jump up that he was wet. It was once he was getting up, he noticed the spill on his clothes. And I believe whatever demons were in that room, they caused that to spill so that way he could get out the whole topic of prayer and Christianity. Because then he went from being serene and prayerful to what the hell? Look at my clothes. The fuck? <gasps> Just oh. that, shit. that demon in that room was an agent of chaos. She is an agent of chaos. This whole situation with Ice Spice, she's like I've said from day one, she's an industry plant. And she came into this industry with big name people around her. The music industry is dying. So we're not getting organic people anymore. We are getting people who are placed in the industry. They're being fed to us through TikTok and through our children and things like that. And they're being made stars. These people are not growing organically. So with that being said, I want to know y'all's thoughts on this entire situation concerning Ice Spice and Riot USA and their behavior during Ty Leo's prayer. How do y'all feel about this? Do you feel like, you know, once again, she's showing her satanic side just like she did during the Super Bowl? So I look forward to reading y'all's comments. Feel free to share this video. Most importantly, make sure you hit this video with a like and I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, be sure to share, like, and subscribe.